क्वेश्चन सिक्सटीन से द रिजोल्विंग पावर ऑफ अ कंपाउंड माइक्रोस्कोप कैन बी इंक्रीज बाय फर्स्ट इंक्रीजिंग वेव लेंथ ऑफ लाइट यूज सेकेंड डिक्रीजिंग कॉन एंगल थर्ड इंक्रीजिंग फोकल लेंथ ऑफ ऑब्जेक्टिव लेंस और फोर्थ फिलिंग लिक्विड ऑफ हाई रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स बिटवीन ऑब्जेक्ट एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव लेंस डे स्टूडेंट्स द रिजोल्विंग पावर ऑफ अ Compound microscope is equal to two mu sine theta by lambda, where mu is the refractive index of the medium, which is between the object and the objective lens. Lambda is the wavelength of the light used, and theta is the cone angle. Clearly, the resolving power is proportional to mu, and on increasing the mu, the resolving power would increase. And hence, for this question, clearly the correct answer is option number four. Now let us solve the question number seventeen. Question seventeen says in Young's double slit experiment, slit separation is d. Distance of screen from slits is capital D. When light of wavelength lambda is incident on the slits, then second minima is obtained in front of one of the slits. The wavelength of the light used is. The students, the location of the second minima can be written as three lambda capital D by small d. It is given that this location is in front of one of the slits, which means y here would be equal to d by two. On solving this expression further, we can find out lambda to be equal to d square by three into capital D. So, therefore, the correct answer for this question is option number one. The students, now let us move towards and solve the question number eighteen. Question eighteen says, on introducing a thin film in path of one of the two interfering beams in Young's double slit experiment, the central bright fringe shifts to the first dark fringe. The refractive index of material of film is one point six, and wavelength of light used is six thousand angstrom. Then the thickness of film is. The students, on introducing the film, the shift in the fringes can be written as beta by lambda. Into mu minus one t, where beta is the fringe width, lambda is the wavelength, mu is the refractive index, and t is the thickness. Now, dear students, it is given that on introducing the thin film in path of one of the two interfering beams, the central bright fringe shifts to the first dark fringe. Dear students, it means that the shift is by half of the fringe width, which means x is beta by two. So beta by two will be equal to beta by lambda mu minus one t. Beta and beta will get cancelled out, and t turns out to be equal to lambda by two mu minus one. On substituting the given values, that lambda is equal to six thousand into ten to the power minus ten meters, that is six thousand angstroms, and mu to be equal to one point six. The value of t turns out to be equal to five into ten to the power minus seven meters. And hence, for this question, the correct answer is option number three. Now let us solve the question number nineteen. Question nineteen says if the frequency of incident radiations is increased by twenty-five percent, the maximum kinetic energy of photoelectrons emitted from the photosensitive surface increases from zero point five electron volt to zero point seven five electron volt. The work function of material is. Dear students, as per photoelectric effect equation. The incident energy, that is h nu, is equal to phi plus k max, where k max is the maximum kinetic energy and phi is the work function of the metal. The students, in the first case, it is written that the maximum kinetic energy is 0.5 electron volts, and in the second case, when the frequency is increased by 25 percent, that is nu becomes 1.25 nu. The stopping potential is. Same, but the maximum kinetic energy becomes 0.75 electron volt. On solving these two equations, dear students, we can find out the value of phi, and phi turns out to be equal to 0.5 electron volt. And hence, for this question, the correct answer is option number two. Now let us solve. and proceed to question number 20 question 20 says threshold wavelength for a photosensitive surface is wavelength of green light then for which color of light photoelectron will not be emitted photoelectron will not be emitted whenever the incident radiation has the energy less than that of the energy associated with the threshold wavelength 
dear students in this spectrum vibgyor if green denotes the wavelength of the threshold wavelength then on the right side of the spectrum as per indicated the energies would be less and for these radiations or for these colors the photoelectron would not be emitted therefore for yellow orange and red the photoelectron would not be emitted but for violet indigo blue the photoelectron will be emitted considering the given information we can easily see that for this question the correct answer is option number 3 now let us proceed to the question number 21